please watch. Birdie. Oh, Birdie. Hi, Victor. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Victor, Hi, how are you? Yes. Sorry. Hi, no worries. Thank you. Um, just a quick reminder about your chat window. We are rolling, so please state your name and outlet, and you can begin. Hi, my name is Victor, and I'm here with uh, atacodone.com. How are you all doing? Oh, good. 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 Yeah. How are you? We're doing good. Thank you. So I guess my first question is, what inspired Arlo or Ryan? Um, I think there's a number of things. I think if, um, you know, the, the movie is in some ways, I got a little bit of a throwback animation quality to it, a little 2D uh, musical vibe of the, the movies that I grew up loving and really being, you know, what got me into animation and, and the reason that I'm here doing, uh, you know, animation today. So I think stylistically, that was a, a big part of it. And then, you know, from its conception about a decade ago, um, just through my own sketches and my own drawings, I kind of stumbled upon this, this strange little alligator guy, <laughs> different, different versions of him, but um, always kept coming back to him and kept drawing him and kept discovering, you know, different parts of his personality and um, really attaching this, this like purely optimistic, uh, joyful, um, character to him that that just pushed its way through my life just made made it you know it it it, it felt like it was the the most important um character and the most important story that I could tell as I got to this point where I was developing my own projects and so um so yeah I think you know he kind of he kind of did it himself <laughs> he kind of create these things it's weird it, but like when you start to draw a character enough times they just take on a life of themselves and and you know, Arlo found his way. He found his way into my life and then into Michael's and into Mary's and here we all are. Can you uh, kind of put the word, the world into your own words? Of the movie? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's a it's a story about a, a half human, half alligator boy who, who grows up in, in the swamp. He's raised by uh, this uh, wonderful old lady who, um, you know, is, she's, She's doing the best she can to, to raise an alligator boy. <laughs> um, she's a little rough around the edges, but she's very sweet. And, and um, it's kind of a story about this character who just has this like purely optimistic heart. He finds out that he's got a dad in New York City and he's gonna go find him. Um, but along the way, he meets all of these characters who ultimately you know, change the course of his life. And, and the characters are all kind of a group of misfits, I guess. Um, you know, They're all very, unique and and different and some of them feel like they don't belong and some of them kind of have found each other and have like a little group that they belong to but they don't understand you know they don't feel like the world is really working for them and Arlo kind of helps them realize their their self-worth and they help him on his journey and um so it's just a, it's a story about like friendship and and found family and um yeah was there ever a time when you didn't think about putting music into it? Like, was it uh, going to be a straightforward movie or was it always planned to be a musical? It was always going to be a musical. I, um, I grew up uh, playing music and started playing in bands, you know, from maybe when I was like, I don't know, 12, like young. I was really young and I was playing in bands and I don't know, you know, another another world where music wasn't a part of my life so when I got a chance to make my own movie I knew it had to be musical. This was kind of personal for you. Yeah yeah I mean you know I think hopefully everyone will have their own personal takeaway with these characters. I think you know part of a large part of why I brought Mary and Michael into the fold was because I felt that they were authentic to the characters that I was trying to create you know and then allowed them to uh, you know, own that and to bring themselves to the, to the character. And then we kind of adjusted the characters to match them a little bit. And so it was kind of this process of, of really, you know, what we, you know, trying to create something that felt more than, you know, silly cartoon fun characters, but like actually resonate and that, that stick around and, and that mean something to people. Michael and Mary, how did you put the music together for this movie? Um, well, Ryan and Alex um, wrote all the music, and I think for both Michael and I were, um, 
it was really exciting to be like kind of hands off. I think, you know, both Michael and I are writers. And so it was a big deal for me to like sing somebody else's songs that they had written. So, um, you know, they would present us with these, with these demos and I was like, holy crap, I want to sing that. Like I was just so excited and, you know, singing with Michael was just so natural and easy. You know, um, I'll say ditto. Um, shout out to Ryan and Alex for creating such amazing songs. But um, yeah, and singing with Mary was, oh my God, an absolute pleasure. She is amazing, as you will see in the movie. And um, also, it's it was pretty easy because we both brought who we are artistically to the songs and we were very blessed and lucky that we got permission to do that you know like there are times when i'm in the booth and i do like a crazy run or i'm like you know i'm up in the raptors as they call it like <laughs> when you sing high you know, i just burst into like a crazy high note and ryan's like no do that or alex is like yes this is amazing more of that and it sounds nothing like the melody <laughs> but it's like do that so though, that's just like a testament um, to show how much of us is involved in the music process and yeah, in the acting as well. I would never want you to sing what the demo vocal that we did. <laughs> Ryan needs to stop. That's His just, demos you know, are so good. Yeah, yeah. They're so good. It's stuff is there, but not when when you two come on on and and really turn it up. That's when those songs come to life. So. Oh, Ryan, thank you, Ryan. And Vincent, Vincent Rodriguez III. Yes. What a fantastic singer. Oh, Ryan, what was it like seeing your first original project kind of come to life? It was amazing. I'm still pinching myself and I'm still like, I feel often over the last like week, like I'm going to throw up <laughs> oh. <laughs> because I'm like, God, it means so much. It means so much to me. That's a hard thing to do. And I know, you know, Michael and Mary both had this as artists where you, you work so hard towards something and then and then you're done, you can't do any more and it's gonna come out. And that's a scary feeling, it's a, it's a big deal. Um, but what I do know is that the people who we worked with along the way, and I'm talking everybody from, you know, the production assistants to the sound engineers, to, you know, the character designers and, and everyone that's touched this movie has done so with so much love and positivity and has been such a great, part of my life and in the last few years that that nothing you know if the movie got put on a shelf tomorrow absolutely I'd be you know heartbroken but the process of creating this movie has been so joyful that like you can never take that away from me and so I'm so proud of you know everything that we've done um so it's been really special I don't know that I'll ever be able to create anything you know you can't you can't create something twice the same way and so I just look at this as like you know you have to be um what's the word you can't take it for granted you know when you get into these situations and and right. live these experiences because that happens one time only you know if we were to do this again if we if this thing did great and we get another season or we get a sequel or whatever it's going to be a different thing and i want to do that but for sure i know we'll make it a great thing but it's going to be a different thing so mm -hmm. i'm just so you know happy about what we've done uh, can you we talk about the right. show for a bit oh yeah the, yeah, uh, the show is, uh, it, it'll come out um, a, a ways after the movie. So so the movie comes out first this Friday. And then, um, you know, there will be an announcement for that uh, when the time is right. But I can tell you that the series is, a, it picks up where the, where the movie left off. And there's a ton of music and the cast is back. All the great characters that you fall in love with in the movie are gonna be there. Um, which is pretty cool. It doesn't always happen that way that you, you make a movie and then and then everybody is, is willing to come back and do it. So uh, I feel really lucky there. And as Mary will tell you, the songs are are pretty good. What advice would the three of you give to anyone looking to get into animation or music or web TV or anything like that? Just do it. Just do it. Um, I, I would say, I mentioned before that overthinking is probably one of the most um, handicapping things in society. A lot of times we don't get into things because we're scared to do it. But I would just say, own who you are, um, trust in your ability um, and have, have faith in yourself and just do it. Make the leap, make the jump. 
Okay, go ahead. I think I mean if if, if someone wants to break into music, I mean you want to you want to make sure that you know preparation meets opportunity. So you are just like prepared for anything to come your way. And for me, that just I went to music school and um, I just took every opportunity I possibly could. And you know if you have the ability to like you know, make your way those options if something's paying or not paying and, or maybe not paying as much as you want to, but it's, you know, if it's worth it for you, or if there's, you know, you have an investment in it, or it might lead to something else, those are, you have to decide what those opportunities are going to be. But I know some artists that will refuse to do something if they're not getting paid X amount of dollars. And for me, I took, you know, right at the beginning of my career, 10 years ago, I took on everything I possibly could. And um, and I'm really glad because I ended up here. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan, Michael, Mary, thank you so much for this. I appreciate thank you, it. Victor. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Bye. 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 Bye.